The opposition in Zimbabwe is contemplating its next move after the Triple C rejected the results. The regional body static is looking into this issue. Perhaps for more on this in studio, we're joined by Sophie Mukwena, SABC International Editor. A very good afternoon to you, Sophie. Thank you. Thank you for your time with us. Perhaps you could give us the latest in relation to the election results in Zimbabwe. What's transpiring? Well, I think the big story is that uh, SADC, the Secretariat, had issued a memo to member countries informing member countries about the decision to do a follow-up in terms of uh, looking at the elections in Zimbabwe and then recommending or taking a decision to send the elders. You know that uh, SADC did launch a structure, senior people on the continent who are not uh, active in government anymore, uh, where they will be sent to look at issues or challenges facing the continent. Now that structure of the elders uh, has been sent to Zimbabwe. It is led by the former Tanzanian president, Jakai Kikwete, to go and get more information in relation to what has transpired there. Because you know that uh, the SADC mission, the chair, sending or reading a report that was compiled by all uh, people who were part of that mission pointed out at the shortcomings or the mistakes or the problems within uh, the election process saying that uh, uh, it doesn't meet the regional and the international standard. But of course, the governing party saying uh, it is not the case. And therefore, uh, speaking to SADC, and we are told uh, behind the scenes that the gripe is that uh, the chairperson of the mission, of the SADC mission, uh, comes from the background of the opposition party. You know that uh, Hishelema at some point in time was in opposition, and you know that there's an organization of political parties, the opposition in the SADC region, the other one on the continent, even though now uh, he is now the leader of uh, is, is Zambia, Hishelema, but he has relationship with uh, that structure of the opposition. Now the governing party is pointing to that problem and therefore there's hope that uh, the elders will be able to listen to all stakeholders and perhaps assist in terms of the way forward. But SADC itself cannot nullify the elections. Uh, it has to be done by the court of law after the electoral commission in that country has made pronouncement, irrespective of its weaknesses. And therefore, this is not an easy one. It is very, very uh, uh, difficult. But uh, earlier on, my colleague Samkela Maseko was able to speak to President Cyril Ramaphosa, who has issued a message congratulating the Zimbabweans and also uh, talking about uh, what is happening right now. Maybe let's take a listen at that uh, message or the short uh, interview with the president by Samkelo Maseko. The SADC uh, body has issued a preliminary report. They are still going to sit down together with many other observers and analyze everything. So let's wait until all that comes out. But the Electoral Commission in Zimbabwe has made a declaration and uh, it is on that basis that we have issued our congratulatory message. So the rest of other things still need to be processed, no doubt, and everybody, including the government of Zimbabwe, accepts that. So let's wait until everything is well processed. Are you fearful that Chamisa, knowing that he's rejected the results, may spur into violence in Zimbabwe? Well, violence is one of those uh, reactions that we abhor and want to avoid. And the Secretary General of the United Nations has made the same call. And so do we, that violence must be avoided at all costs. Uh, elections are processes that are always either disputed or accepted. And when they are disputed, there are always channels in every country to challenge the outcome of the elections and we want that to always be done on a peaceful basis. President Cyril Ramaphosa talking about the elections, you know that uh, uh, he did send a message yesterday and many people were very critical of that move, saying that uh, the SADC mission has pointed out at weaknesses in relation to this process and how can the heads of state and government 
congratulate President Mnangagwa, but the president saying that uh, it was based on the results that were made public by the electoral body, but we know that there are issues with the electoral body, but at the moment, this is the electoral body, and therefore, if you contest the elections, you have to follow certain processes. That is the legal process, and the opposition will tell you that they don't trust the judiciary, so it is a dilemma. No, absolutely. The, the opposition also in Zimbabwe spoke to the media. Perhaps did you get any information on what that briefing was all about? Well, not much came out of that briefing. I mean, we were expecting that they will announce in terms of what they are going to do. And the option is a court process. But because of this issue of uh, the judicial system losing credibility in the eyes of the opposition, you have a problem. And therefore, they only spoke about a call for SADC to intervene. We don't know how, but uh, perhaps the elders and those who are in Zimbabwe right now, part of the mission, will find a way or a way forward because they will be able to engage with all the stakeholders. Sophie Mukwana, thank you for that. Um, we'll leave that conversation there for now and then continue to monitor developments transpiring. The opposition in Zimbabwe contemplating its next move after the Triple C have rejected the electoral results. Um, SADC is also looking into the issue. Sophie Mukwana, SABC International News Editor, giving us the latest there.